The leaves of my azaleas have lost their green color. I've heard that a lot. What could be causing that? And we're thinking it could be a couple of things. Yes, you know, I, I typically think of uh, nitrogen deficiency mm -hmm. and I also think of iron deficiency, but it could be a lot of problems. It could be a drainage issue it could if be. it's in a bad spot, you know, that, that, that could be a problem. It, it could be. And I'm thinking, too, uh, azalea lace bugs, you know, yes. something that I see uh, all the time throughout the landscape here in Shelby County. Uh, if you flip those leaves over again, okay, <laughs> uh, you will see those azalea lace bugs. They have the lace-looking wings. Yeah. Now they're lace bugs. Um, they have pear-sucking mouth parts. It's almost like a needle, like an apodermic needle. Ooh. It is actually sucking plant juice again, uh, plant sap from the underside of that leaf. Mm -hmm. And it, the leaf looks discolored. Okay? Yes. And what happens, it actually drops off prematurely. Right. But you can tell that they've been there because you see the black, shiny insect waste, which yes. is this excrement. And you can also see the cast off uh, skin. When it molted, it actually okay. leaves the skin behind. You can actually see that with the eye. So that's, that's what I'm, it could be that, it, it could be. You know, Phil DeRushing once said this, beware of plants that are named after bugs. <laughs> azalea, azalea lace bugs. You know, he said that, I remember that. Um, but look, if, if it is a nutrient deficiency, you know, you can do the soil test, you know, right. uh, get your line built up, what have you. If it, uh, if it is the lace bugs, look, it's a couple of different things here. Again, you can use the systemic soil dredges in the spring, or if you catch them early enough, you can use insecticidal soap. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Which is a lot safer, but you have to catch them pretty early. Yeah. Right. Because they're a couple of generations a year. And it seems like the hotter it gets, they the start to have. multiply. Yes. They get very active. And, and, and you know, the uh, systemic may be a good approach with the imidacloprid because yeah. a lot of those products, it's like a nine to 12 month. Yes, yeah, it's, uh, it's a year worth of control. Yeah, worth of control. <laughs> yeah. So it kind of depends on your situation. Right, right. You know, I like to let the homeowners make their own right. choice, right. but yeah, you get a year's worth of control if right. you go with the. And then you catch both the, generations. Right. You catch the multiple generations.